I'm a sick zero 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 kid scar lord. I like to have a large physique. I went to the gym. That's a live in the gym in twelve years. My name is Ducky Smoogu Lugu Koo. Twelve years. Shit. Yeah, twelve years, bro. Wait. Hold up. Switch it up. That nice. <laughs> that clean. Switch it up. Do me or not do me. That is the question. Where Jungle Beats, Australia's plug to the largest remotes in the country. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> um, I'm Alexander Sandalis, aka Sandy Sand Sand. Really dropped you every time. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm just, I'm just not a ranger. I'm just not the ranger. You fucking deranged. I'm a Pokemon deranger. We're back in here reviewing what? This is like our fifth or something Scarlo track. If you want to. Learn how to count, motherfucker. Look, man. One, two, three, five. <laughs> don't ask us what we haven't reviewed. You've got to make sure you... Oh, I don't know. Fucking words, bro. <laughs> don't, ask, don't ask us to look after your kids because they're going to die. Or eat something poisonous. That's true. We're reviewing Quadruple Zero Sick. Scarlord. Say some shit. Don't touch me. <laughs> 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 okay. Lyrics, mate. What's he saying? I think he's saying, I had a cat just for breakfast. Then I it's got be a it. cat. My Man, brain is so smart. Thought of you makes me sick. What? Yeah. He said the thought of you makes me sick. How dare he? How dare he? The thought of him makes me erect. Oh hello. <laughs> Wrap those lies around my neck. Take advantage, you bitch. I would have given you my left hand. Now the thought of you makes me sick. I love the way he uses those lyrics. I feel bad. Oh, like simple but brutally fucking easy to picture. It just yes, and it just cuts through the air. Mm -hmm. Like instead of saying metaphor, metaphor, metaphor is like my dick, your face, taste. And I think because he's wrapped it around in this, in the way he's delivering it, it allows for mm. this simple delivery, this simple delivery of his words to be kind of fucking manifested. Also, when you yeah exactly when you're using oh, your voice sense. in that sorry. when you're using your voice in that manner, it's kind of like a lot easier when the lyrics are a lot easier too. Right. Especially like the more syllables in a word, like that's a lot more like. Like I don't mind. It's simpler. And more mundane, like easier lyrics when it's packaged in this way. Yeah, because you can hear a lot of the emotion and anger or whatever else he's displaying through the way that he uses his voice, especially in this manner. Thank so. you for helping me articulate Mate, this. Mate, I got your back, brother. Like Kyra Prack. Uh, big, just like the Beatles, got my hand up. The, my big old, I'm going to do this shit for ego. I just do it because I'm Neo. <laughs> old man's hating because they're real. Yeah, they know that we ain't equal. I got a business, I got business coming deal and my niggas got a deal. Lavish, 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 lavish. <laughs> what was that last one? It's really, you said it twice. <laughs> I didn't quite get it. Um, I think this beat's probably the most uh, approachable beat we've heard from him so far. Because it definitely has a, an easier trap sort of sound to it. Like the... Dun, 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 oh, the dun, fuck dun, I think it was definitely the most approachable beat we've heard from him. I think that if you... Uh, Going to listen to Scarlet for the first time, and you were familiar with both genres, this would be one of the ones that would catch you easier. I think this is probably didn't catch me as much as the other tracks because it wasn't as unique as the other ones, but it's still pretty decent, man. Sorry, I just... fucking listening to me, mate. Look at this, man. No, 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 no. Because this is off an album called Quadruple Zero, and we're, there's only nine tracks on it. I think we listened to like half the album already. Quadruple zero, man. To me, I need, I need some, I need a visual or I need lyrics on the screen. Otherwise, it's hard for me to engage with it. To me, this is the most similar. Like it's, it's not mm. giving me. Um, there's no point of difference for this track. 
Compared to the other ones, which yeah. has a larger point that's of difference. What, as I said, I think it's the most easily approachable track. Because, yeah, I feel like the two the two genres that he's melding here are done to a, a real easy approach. So, like, metal people can come to this and be like, oh, yeah, he's screaming a lot more. And hip-hop players come along and go, oh, yeah, it's a really heavy trap beat. Mm. There's not, like, anything too different like the other ones, as you said. But I still fuck with it. I think he did a great job. Lyrics are dope. Uh, I like everything you do. And call me daddy. And I'll call you son. Uh, we've reviewed, like, four of his other tracks. So, guys, be sure to check that out on our channel. And be sure to... Um, Support us on Patreon so we can feed our chickens. It's because we don't want them to hatch. Because you shouldn't count your hatchings before they chicken out and turn into uh, pet, uh, pedophiles. You better say pedophiles. no. <laughs> I wasn't, mate. I was about to say petting zoos. The fact that you thought pedophile makes you fucked up in the head, mate. You're fucked up. I definitely thought pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, this guy's dope. I wonder how young.